586-2711. Well, we edge back toward 95 to 100 today. Right now, 65 degrees. KDB's Morning News Extra program next, brought to you by Intralinks. And here's Kevin Wood. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. And a very busy Angie Hoff is here. As, uh, she has a busy life, and part of it is coordinating uh, Chimney Rock Pioneer Days every year. That's how, right. How many years have you, have you done this? You have a partner that's also helped you out a little bit? Um, Brenda Krantz um, helps me out. We both do this together, and um, so many other people on the committee that I um, that know who they are, that um, and a lot of people know who they are that I'd like to thank too. But Brenda and I both have done this for probably close to ten years or better. Yeah. So you guys do a great job. And thank you. And uh, so you have. I'm looking at all these activities you have going on Saturday. Wow, quite a few, huh? Yeah. We've decided this year to go to one day rather than two. Uh, it just hasn't been a great turnout for our Friday activities. So. We're going to jam-pack everything into Saturday, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so let's uh, get going on what you got got uh, going on. It starts right at uh, 7.30, right? That's right. Um, we have a 5K run and a fun run or walk for the kids that are out at, that's out at the golf course, and the registration for that is at 6.45. The run starts at 8, and the fun run for the children starts at 7.30. Um, at 8 o'clock down at the library park, we have the volleyball tournament. It's a turf volleyball that's starting, and so if you'd like to get into that, just let us know. 8 o'clock to 10, this is something new that we've added this year. We're doing a pancake feed at the new fire hall, and that'll be open to the public from 8 to 10. During that time at the new fire hall, we will do our opening ceremonies where we announce the winners of the dignitary awards for the weekend. At 10 o'clock up at the swimming pool park is when we'll start doing the registration for the parade. And then our great little parade starts at 11 o'clock at the top of the swimming pool hill. Yeah, so how many blocks you guys go? <clears throat> we go all the way down Main Street. All the way down? Yep, they turn around down by Simplot and yeah. head back up. We yeah. really do have a great parade. You know, for the size of town we have, we always have a really nice parade. You have parade. a lot of registrants? We do, we do. All right. Then at 12 o'clock down at the library park, we've got everything opening up for business. The food vendors, the craft vendors, the beer garden opens, the car show will begin down there, the horseshoe tournament, and we'll also do the welcome Star Spangled Banner, etc. at 12 o'clock. At 12.15, the Yes Ma'am Singers will be providing a new show. They typically do a World War II show, and um, this year we're doing a 50s, 60s type of show. All right, so how many gals in your group again? There's three of three us. Of it, three of you, yeah. if I remember correctly. That's yeah. right, three of yeah, us. Yeah, you guys have been doing that for a long time. Uh, we have. We started out entertaining for Pioneer Days and have gone ever since, and I think we're on seven years now. Yeah, and you do other little... We do. We're actually going to Lisco. We've gone to Rocky Ford, Colorado. We go all over. Yeah, that's great. You guys do a good job. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll move right along, 1 o'clock. We've got the introduction of our dignitaries at the park, and as well, we do the parade awards at that time. So the parade awards are, uh, what, best uh, theme? Do you, you have a theme for the parade? We do. It is Pride on the Prairie. Okay. So we have the different um, entries, divisions, categories, you know, horses and religious division, miscellaneous. We've got those divisions that we'll be handing out awards for. Okay. At 1 o'clock also, the kids' games begin there in the park, and we've got a lot of fun things for the kids to do this year. A lot of um, the, the big blow-up game things that the kids yeah, love. Yeah, the bouncy things. The bouncy things and yeah. some slides and some for the older kids as well. And then also a dunk tank. So it should be a lot of fun for the kids there. So who's volunteering for the dunk tank? Um, you are. No. <laughs> if no, it's going to be 95 a... degrees, <laughs> I might do it. <laughs> Okay. Um, the cheerleaders usually um, round that up, and so they try to get some of the um, the school people, you know, the principals yeah. and such like yeah. that. So All right, that's cool. It's fun. At one thirty on stage, we'll have Jody Shasky. Um, she's Mrs. Western Nebraska, and she's going to be representing herself as such, and also entertaining us a little bit because she's a wonderful singer. At two o'clock, we have a comedian ventriloquist coming out of Denver. His name is Wayne and Wingnut. Um, should be a lot of fun. Um, some life-size puppets and a lot of fun in that act. 
At 3 o'clock, we have a stand-up comedian also coming from Denver, and his name is Sam Adams. He's a really neat guy, and we're really looking forward to, to having him crack us up. From 4 to 6, we will have The Perfect Blend, which is Perry and Robin Brenning's band. Yep, they're very good. They are very good. Now, through the afternoon, we're also going to be doing some prize drawings for some really neat prizes. Um, so far, we have some Wyoming football tickets, um, two couples golf outings um, with dinner, a Kindle fire, Deadwood weekend, a concrete decorative bench, gas cards, Husker stuff, lots of things to give away. So we're hoping that'll kind of keep people, you got to be present to win, so yeah. keep you in the park and um, enjoy our great entertainment and maybe win some neat prizes. So this all happens while uh, Perry and Robin are... Plan, um, huh? We're going to start drawing probably about 2 o'clock and oh, go all through the okay. afternoon because we end up having so many great prizes. Yeah, that's good. So I imagine some businesses helped out with this. Yes, they have. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of businesses that have helped out. Okay. Um, 8 to 11, we're, they have a teen dance, which is going to be at Genoa's Hall this year. 8.30 to 12.30 is our street dance, and that's featuring 5 to Life. And then Sunday, we... After we do our cleanup and everything, we end up the weekend with our trap shoot at 1 o'clock. All right. So, boy, you guys are just super busy. Oh, yeah. It's a great weekend. Yeah, it's a great weekend. And uh, like you said, uh, you got all this stuff in on, in one day because Friday there wasn't that much that much turnout last year. You know, year. it's hard to get people to – there's always football games and, and such going on. We have a lot of people doing their class reunions in conjunction with Pioneer Days. Mm -hmm. And so part of that thinking is – so that the class reunion people have one night to just do their own thing, whether it be a banquet or some kind of get-together, and then they can all join us for the festivities on Saturdays. All right. Is it, is it just me, or are you doing this a little bit earlier than when you usually... Sometimes you're into September. Oh, we this did. Year, we had been doing August. it in September um, because we were conflicting with the Greek picnic. Okay. Is, is how that worked. Um, so we're actually kind of playing around with some different ideas for dates. It might even be earlier next year because... You know, we're just trying to figure out what's going to be a best fit for our yeah. community. Yeah, what's best and get the best turnout and That's all that right. kind of stuff. That's the whole idea. And uh, so you have been doing it for 10 years. you have any idea how long this has been going on? For, it's been going on for, well, ever since I've been here. It's almost 30 years now. Yeah, I'm, I was visiting with someone about that yesterday, and we were guessing probably close to 60 years. Wow, fantastic. And uh, so it's not very far from here to get to That's Bayard right. and do... Do something. 25 Just miles. Kind of check it out. 25 miles. That's right. And uh, you can have a good time. And uh, you got just tons of stuff going on here. We we'll do. Have a, we'll have a list of all that stuff on, uh, well, it'll be on the video and it'll be on uh, my uh, blog there. So we'll We so also we'll have a Facebook all. page now yeah. on Chimney Rock Pioneer Days. You can get on and like us. And I've got a list of events, um, all kinds of things on there. The registration numbers, anything you might want to know would be on our Facebook page as well. Yep. Yeah. This has to be great for the businesses, especially the restaurants and that kind of stuff. Right. People are, people are out running around and, and doing that stuff, mm -hmm. so should be good. Once again, Chimney Rock Pioneer Days coming up this Saturday, and uh, we thank you, Angie, thank for you, Kevin. all you do. Sure, thank you. You bet.